Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we are trying out yet another method of cleaning a cast iron skillet, and this is the uh, Griswold number six in this five gallon bucket of water. Um, <clears throat> you can see I've got safety glasses and latex gloves on because we are dealing with very, very hazardous chemicals. Uh, we are doing so with a sink right here in the event that I, I might get some in my hands. It's highly unlikely as you'll see, but we have a sink too, just as a safety precaution. Um, you see there's a plastic bag here, this is a garbage bag. What we are doing there is this garbage bag actually has the skillet inside of it and that one liter bottle of uh, potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. And the concept is by, if I just put that one liter bottle in this bag and then put my cast iron skillet with uh, inside and put it in an empty five gallon bucket. The only contact of the solution with the skillet would be just obviously the bottom. It would not make a whole lot of contact at all because there's so much air in the bag. But submerging the whole bag with that solution in a bucket of water takes care of that problem because it forces all the air out so there is 100% contact between the solution and the cast iron. Uh, I did not come up with this idea on my own. I saw it in a YouTube video by a young blacksmith, Will Stelter, who's got a pretty popular following on YouTube uh, with blacksmithing and knife making and stuff like that. And uh, I've been following him for a few years at this point. I'm not sure if he came up with that idea or if he found it somewhere, if he came up with it on his own, well, props to him, that's a pretty clever idea. So, we are going to, this is obviously just water, so it's safe to put our hand in here. We're going to find the handle, which I've oriented up, it's right here. And, uh, oh, the important part is this has been soaking for four days at this point. Um, so we're going to see what we've got. And by picking the bag up here, slightly out of the water that leaves all the hydroxide to drain to the bottom so there's even less a chance of me getting that stuff on my on my skin. There we go. There's our skill and let's see what this looks like. Yeah you can see that's a substantial difference. Oh heck yeah. So you guys saw how this thing went in. That's a very, very different beast right now. Uh, geez, there's hardly anything left over. 